Hey, what's going on today, guys? My name's Trey. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are traveling from Hawaii to Chicago to explore the vegan food scene in a city that is super special to my wife and I. My wife is actually from this area, and we actually met in college in the Chicago area. So I'm super excited to return. It's been a few years since I've been back. My wife gets the chance to come back often to see her family, but I personally haven't been back in a while. So I'm really excited to explore all the food and check out some sites and just immerse ourselves in the amazing Chicago culture. You know, the city gets a bad rep. I don't necessarily buy into that narrative. It's a truly amazing city. It's a global city as well. People come from all over the world. The vegan food scene has grown so much here in Chicago, and I'm super excited to bring that to you guys. So stay tuned and let's get into it. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Chicago, just know that this city has some of the most unpredictable weather that you could imagine. It might rain, it might snow. We're here in the fall, so obviously it's raining. We decided to first check out Pick Me Up Cafe, which is located on the north side of Chicago. It is a breakfast-based restaurant, but they do provide lunch and dinner as well. It's a really, really cool restaurant. As you see here, the menu at Pick Me Up is massive. We decided to go with two classics, the pancakes, which Man, every time I go to a city, I have to get the pancakes because it truly lets me know how good the restaurant is. And if you know my wife, she decided to go with a breakfast scramble, which this is the Santa Fe scramble. Featured peppers, tomatoes, onions. It was really, really a solid dish and it comes with a side of toast as well. This is one of the better scrambles that we've actually had and a really, really great start to our time here in Chicago. The next place we decided to go was right down the block, literally two blocks away, and that place is called Urban Vegan. Now, Urban Vegan was on our radar for a few reasons. One, because I personally love Southeast Asian cuisine, and that is what Urban Vegan is known for making. So we came, we looked over their massive menu, and we, we decided ultimately that the orange chicken was what we had to go with. And oh my gosh, look at how cute my family is. I love them so much. Um, my son Golden was really excited. This is his first time in Chicago as well. And as you could see by him grabbing the fork, he was ready to dive in. And oh my gosh, this orange chicken. Oh my God. I, I'm, I was literally rendered speechless just by looking at it. But once you actually get it to you or once you actually have it in front of you, you will be rendered utterly speechless. It looked so good. It smelled so good and right upon diving into this chicken you are met with some amazing flavor profiles orange citrus lemon zest sweetness spiciness this is honestly probably one of the top five vegan dishes that i've ever had it was so good after our time at urban vegan we decided to head back out into the amazing city of chicago beautiful beautiful weather in my opinion for this time of year and we decided to hit up kale my name which is arguably one of the most famous restaurants one of the most famous vegan restaurants on the planet this place is really cool they have a huge celeb following on instagram twitter and facebook and so that's how it came onto our radar. It's a really nice looking restaurant as well. It kind of gives you like a nice lounge vibe and like it's a really, really cool place. One thing that I really thought was cool was the owner was just chilling in there. So we decided to get the mac and cheese balls, which is something that most vegans don't really get a chance to have. But this was something that we couldn't pass up coming here. And um, yeah, they were really good actually. And we ended up taking some home and even the second and third day, these things were still good. They were still crisp. They had a nice flavor profile. We love mac and cheese. We're mac and cheese connoisseurs. This definitely got an A plus in our book. It was really, really scrumptious. Was everything that I think veganism should be, which is just, you know, testing the waters and, you know, trying different ideas that veganism, I guess, isn't necessarily known for. But when you come here to kill my name, don't pass up on the mac and cheese balls. These things are absolutely bomb. The next thing we decided to get were the fried avocado tacos. Oh my gosh. These things don't only look good, they taste so good as well. The fried avocado has a nice crispiness. It's salted to perfection. They also use some sort of pico de gallo as well on top. Kale My Name is an awesome, awesome restaurant. So after Kale My Name, 
Obviously, we decided to head back out and explore this awesome, amazing city. Traffic starts to pick up around this time, it's later in the day, but we needed something that was a little bit on the sweeter side since we've been crushing these savory light dishes. And so we actually headed back to the north side of Chicago to check out a really cool place by the name of Beacon Donuts. Now this place is located in an alley, you know, don't, I know alleys kind of get a bad rep, but I promise you it is well worth it because these donuts are amazing. The menu is huge. It switches up often as well. And the two ladies that are running this place, they are so nice. They're so friendly. And I told them that we were coming all the way from Hawaii and they thanked us so much. And like, they just love their customers. I love a place that truly prides themselves on making the experience memorable. And we had great conversation. So I decided to walk the few blocks back to my wife and son, because as you know, Chicago parking is absolutely insane. The walk was super scenic. And as you can see, I'm finally making it back to the car. And my wife is super excited to get her donuts. And for good reason, this here is the apple fritter. So bomb, so amazing. This here is the Boston cream donut, also bomb and amazing. This apple cider donut is by far one of the best donuts we've ever had. Beacon Donuts, thank you for sticking true to Chicago and making this an awesome, amazing experience. And after that, back to the savory dishes, we headed over to Blue Sushi Sake Grill, which is actually one of the newer restaurants on our list. Obviously, as you can tell by the name, they are known for their sushi. They do have an extensive sake menu, but we're here because this place has some amazing vegan sushi. And if you guys have seen in our prior videos, we love our sushi. We love sushi so much. It's one of our favorite foods. And this place has like 12 or 12 to 15 different sushi rolls. And as you could tell, we ordered about half of those rolls. Everything about this place was so nice and so just unique. You wouldn't really think that you would find a sushi restaurant in the Chicago area with a massive vegan menu, but this place did not let us down at all. What I appreciated most about Blue Sushi Sake Grill is they are challenging sushi, right? So when people go to a sushi restaurant, they expect to only find fish. And if you're a vegan, you really only expect to find avocado rolls and maybe like one tempura vegetable roll. This place has like 12 to 15 different vegan options for sushi. And it's not your traditional fare that you would find at, in terms of vegan sushi. And I really appreciated that. As you can see, we ordered like half the menu. Prepare to spend a lot of money when you come here, but it's well worth it. Blue Sushi Sake, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. This place is amazing. Okay guys, so this next place on our list really shook up things here in Chicago. And this restaurant is called Buona Beef. Now Buona Beef, obviously in the name, they specialize in their Chicago style Italian beef sandwiches. Now this place in 2020 actually decided to launch a vegan version of its specialty sandwich. And people were shocked and appalled, which People that are eating carcasses could think that a vegan version is appalling, but that's a whole nother story. It's, it's pretty ironic, but we had to come here because this is something that you really will never find anywhere else on the planet. And I personally love Chicago style foods. This was so good, so bomb, so dank. You gotta come to Buona Beef. The next place we decided to go was a place that has been on my bucket list for years, and that place is called Vodka's Vegan Creamery. I personally love ice cream. My wife loves ice cream, and her best friend Aaron loves ice cream as well. Now, he's a non-vegan, but we decided to invite him out, and he was able to get a vegan version of a blizzard, which Vodka's provides, and guys, he loved it so much. I personally decided to go with a vegan soft serve with some strawberry sauce around the top, and my wife decided to go with a strawberry milkshake. Also good, also amazing. Okay, this next place on the list, we didn't actually get a chance to have anything from there, but it was attached to the restaurant that we ended up going to, and that's called Liberation Donuts. Liberation Donuts has about 12 to 15 different donuts that you can order, all vegan, all amazing. Really, really good looking donuts, but we had had so many sweets today, and like I said, we just had that ice cream, so I decided to unfortunately pass up on this, but right next door to it is Upton's Break Room. Now, if you're familiar with Upton's, they actually provide vegan food nationwide and I actually think worldwide. So a lot of this stuff that you'll find in there, you can find in your local grocery store. So it doesn't matter where you are in the country, they ship nationwide. I see stuff here in Hawaii all the time from Upton's and that's really how I found out about the Upton's brand. So when I found out that they had a restaurant here and they had Chicago style hot dogs, 
I could not pass up this place. We could not pass it up. And guys, so good. The buns are hands down the best hot dog buns I've ever had. The hot dog was crisp. It had a nice crunch and a nice bite. Everything about this dog is true to Chicago. Like if you gave this to a random person in Chicago, they wouldn't know that it was vegan. And I think that that's something that's really special that Upton's has been able to achieve. Really, really cannot tell you guys enough about how amazing this place truly is. And if you actually want to explore Upton's, they sell the hot dogs in your local grocery store. So just go down, throw them on the fryer, throw them on the grill, try Upton's food because guys, it is amazing. After checking out Upton's and Liberation Donuts, we decided to take a little bit of a break and explore Chicago and show my son around, take my wife around, and just explore this beautiful place. I love Chicago so much. I can't tell you guys that enough. And I'm really excited to continue exploring the amazing food, which brought us to our next place, Can't Believe It's Not Meat. This place has truly epitomized the vegan food scene here in Chicago. It literally just absolutely breaks so many boundaries when it comes to veganism. And it's probably the most interesting restaurant I've ever been to. And as you've known, we've been all over the world. And I mean that in the best way possible. Hands down, some of the best vegan food I've ever had. Like just walking into walking in there it's a party it's a great time great vibes like a truly truly memorable experience and atmosphere the menu is massive there's so much that they offer dessert breakfast lunch dinner we had to go with this lasagna which was so bomb so big it weighed like two pounds we decided to go with this vegan version of the big mac had to go with the Philly cheesesteak egg rolls. Wow, oh my gosh, this is hands down one of the top five things I've ever had since I've been vegan. Okay guys, so I have some sad news. This here, as you can see, is the Chicago Diner. Unfortunately, we tried to get reservations at this place during our time in Chicago, but due to its massive popularity, it's been open for years, I think over like 40, 50 years, something like that. This place, we could not score a reservation. So I'm really sad, I'm really hurt. They have this vegan Reuben and this vegan Cuban that both look so good. And probably the number one reason why I wanted to come here was for their vegan milkshakes. They have won awards, you know, they are world renowned. And unfortunately, because of its popularity and because they aren't allowing too many customers to come in due to COVID, we weren't able to feature this restaurant in our video. But if you are in Chicago and you're able to score a reservation, please come because this place is truly historic when it comes to veganism. So literally right across the street is a place by the name of Kitchen 17 and they provide vegan deep dish. So even though <laughs> this is something that, you know, is controversial in the pizza world. Deep dish is some of my favorite pizza on the planet. Like it's one of my favorite styles and Kitchen 17 has crushed it. Like this was one of the best things that we've ever tasted. And this place was absolutely amazing. You have to come here and you can actually order it frozen and have it shipped to your house as well. And guys, that's gonna be it. Now, I have to give you guys a quick disclaimer. We had a list of around 30 to 40 restaurants that we wanted to go to. And sadly, because our stomachs can only handle so much and because our time isn't unlimited, we weren't able to feature a lot of those restaurants. So while the restaurants that we were able to feature were amazing, there are some other restaurants out there in Chicago, literally like 50 plus restaurants out there that are killing it. We didn't really get a chance to make it to the south side of Chicago, which has some of the best vegan food, not only in Chicago, but in the Midwest and in the US in general, we didn't get a chance to make it to those places. Um, so I actually wanna do a part two of the vegan scene in Chicago in the future, because this place is just continuing to grow and continuing to challenge and continuing to put out so much amazing food that 
I couldn't continue going on in life without exploring the rest of the restaurants that are here in Chicago. So if your restaurant didn't make the list or if you love a restaurant in Chicago that didn't make a list, I promise you I'm gonna feature it in a later video. There's so many out there and I just want to thank a few people as we close out this video for giving me some recommendations. I wanna give a huge shout out to Jenny in Chicago on Instagram for giving us a lot of the recommendations. You know, I reached out to her one day on Instagram. She was super nice. She gave me some great advice when deciding to make this video and come up with a list of restaurants. So huge shout out to her. I'm going to actually leave a link to her Instagram in the description below. Check her out. She is like killing it in Chicago. She goes to all the different restaurants there. Jenny, very nice to meet you. And another person that I wanted to shout out was the owner of Can't Believe It's Not Me. She gave us a list of restaurants to go to in Chicago. Yes, you heard that right. A owner gave us a list of restaurants to go to in Chicago. So that to me just goes to show that Chicago is a truly amazing city. It's a city of brotherhood. It's a city of love. It's a city of, you know, collectivism of bringing each other up together. And I really appreciated that. So I don't remember your name. I'm so sorry, but I just want to give you a shout out. The owner of Can't Believe It's Not Me. You are amazing. You are a pioneer. I hope your restaurants continue to grow and expand even outside of Chicago. Like, I hope to see you in LA one day. I hope to see you in New York. I hope to see you with restaurants in Miami. I know your restaurant has the potential to do so. That's really it. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Chicago is a truly amazing city. I don't care about all the bad rep that it gets. This is an amazing place. You have to come. The food is so amazing. The people are so amazing. The culture is amazing. The architecture, the art, everything about the city, even the traffic is amazing. I love Chicago. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.